G'day guys. Well, we're here checking out the latest from Wild Ball's Razorback series, the LE. And I've got to tell you, this is a good looking camper trailer. The best part is, it's very comfortable, extremely capable, and it's got all those little intricate details we all like to see. So I don't know about you, but I reckon it's worth a closer look. Now if you think this camper trailer looks a bit fancy, trust me, it's because it is. And part of that is because the guys at Wild Ball Campers will paint your camper trailer for free, pretty much any colour you want, so you can match it to your car as well. Now what I really like about this camper trailer is the attention to detail. You can see that with little things right here, things like the motion sensor switches for the LED lights, the nice smooth edges on the side of the pantry, and of course nice strong runners. Over on this side of the kitchen, you've got your main accessories. You've got a nice big flip over bench there for all your preparation. You've also got a three burner gas stove. Plus you've got little things like nice and solid latches for your drawers and an LED light. At the rear of the camper, you've got your dual spare wheel carrier. You don't have to have dual spare wheels if you don't like them. You can get rid of one, put a couple of jerry cans or a storage box or something in there. Around the side though, you've got a really handy storage box for your tent poles. You've also got a boat loader included as standard. And when it comes to the electric side of things with this camper trailer, it's pretty extensive. You've got three 100 amp hour batteries, a projector battery charger, and all of your electrics are right here in a nice and easy to reach location. Now at the front of the camper trailer, you'll see there's heaps of storage. You've got these nice big drawers here. You've got a few little things like gas strut assisted doors and automotive seals. Fair income guys, this thing is super capable. The full independent trailing arm suspension is custom designed and you've got two choices of height, so you've got plenty of ground clearance if you want it. If you like to head north to those warmer climates, this camper trailer will suit you down to a T. And the reason I say that is because the tent is nice and high. That helps to keep the inside nice and cool. Yep, this is definitely the lazy man's camper trailer. This lounge is super comfortable. You've got vinyl coverings on the cushions, so it doesn't really matter if they get wet. You've got a nice big TV, you've got a table for the meals preparation, you've got 12 volt outlets, nice big bed, and plenty of ventilation. You know what, it doesn't get any better than this. You know, there's quite a lot of forward fold camper trailers on the market these days, but if you ask me, this is definitely one of the better ones. But hey, don't take my word for it. Make sure you go and check it out for yourself. Been a lot of forward fold campers in this competition, but I've got to say, the Wild Boar Razorback Limited Edition Series has really taken my heart. I reckon it's a beauty. It is full bore, this thing. Its presentation is just terrific. Easy to set up, plenty of awning spaces, plenty of options, and I actually really like the fact that it's got a completely separate shower room toilet to it. I think it's quite simple, functional. You're not trying to hang wires and pipes and all the rest of it all over the place. So it's a little bit of a keep it simple stupid, but I'm a bit simple, I like it that way. This trailer would look fantastic behind your truck. You've got a choice of colours, you can take it anywhere, off-road, wind down, have a great holiday with your family. I have to say that this one stands out from the crowd for us because of the attention to detail. You get gas bottles included, they're not an optional extra, the jerry cans are included. There's uh, switches on lights, so you don't just have to pull a plug out to turn a light on and off. There's a strip light across the middle of the camper, not just one at each end, so you can zone your lighting to suit what you're doing. There are proper reading lights. It's a, a very well specified camper trailer. Uh, look, the biggest thing for me about the, uh, the Wild Boar is that they've sort of seek to differentiate themselves on everything, you know, not even just the little details. They've got a different box, a different lid, a different way to get in, different stairs. Everything that they've done, they've tried to do in their own unique way. The internals of this unit are entirely different to anything else we've seen. They're actually a nice pressed sheet metal type construction in around the, uh, the U-shaped seating for the dinette. And there's really good storage in there. The wild ball has got plenty of room inside to sit around. Entertainment wise, you've got a great little stereo and a TV. Plenty of room around the table when you want to come inside out of the weather. My favourite feature is the ergonomics and the usability of the kitchen area. Lots of storage, lots of pantry, 
the kitchen, they've got a few little additions to it, nice little windshield across it. Just really usable, well thought out, little things that make this trailer that step above the others.